Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to come along and have a bit of a play because I recently saw an amazing video by, um, I think her name is So Carol now. I used to watch her when she was Carol Tinson. Um, or actually it could be the other way around now. I'm, <laughs> oh, my memory's so terrible. I can't quite remember which way around it is. Um, but I know that she's changed her channel name anyway. And she has a really interesting challenge, cha channel um, and does lots of different um, things. And I recently watched a video with her where her center signature was made from a sheet of acetate or, you know, you could use transparency or anything, you know, anything see-through basically. Um, and that was her center of her signature in her journal. And then she'd attached all butterflies over it. Now I've got to confess, I didn't really see how she attached the butterflies. I'm not sure whether she showed that or didn't show that. But I loved the basic concept of that. So what I've done, I've brought along a bunch of um, vellum and acetate and various things, which actually, yeah, I don't need, I don't need some of these things. Um, and I thought what we could do, because I don't want to put, you know, a complete journal together right at this moment, um, but, you know, definitely, yeah, I'll try and remember to link Carol's video below and go and check hers out because you may want to do that in your centre of the signature because it was such a pretty idea. Um, but what I thought we could do is use her concept of the, you know, the butterflies all over the acetate, which just looked so pretty, and make some little, um, you know, booklets, inserts for our journals. So here what I've got is, this is actually um, transparency, you know, before printing on, uh, rather than acetate, sorry, can't speak this morning, um, rather than acetate. And it's an A4 sheet. It's a complete sheet. You know, I haven't cut it down or anything like that. And what I'm going to do is just fold it in half as best I can. Now, obviously, it's not that easy to work with because, of course, you can't really see the edges particularly well to make it super, super neat. But, you know, I mean, you can kind of get the gist and do it as well as possible it doesn't have to be perfect as we always kind of say anyway so I'm just going to take my bone folder because as well acetate or you know in this case the transparency film it doesn't always want to kind of bend and stay flat sometimes it keeps you know kind of like curling open um a little bit so that's going to be my basis of my um booklets and I'm going to just cut it I think into just two I think because otherwise I'm going to end up with pretty tiny ones although does that matter yeah I'm going to do it into two I think so just going to cut that down in the middle like that and they're going to be my covers for my pieces let me just move this all out of the way I think what I'm going to do is put a sheet of something white underneath where I'm working so that you can actually see a little bit clearer what I'm doing because of course when you're working on acetate you know within five minutes you probably won't really be able to see much of what I'm doing so hopefully it's showing up a little bit better on the acetate on the white um, paper there and then what I've got here is my box of butterflies which um, you know a variety of fussy cut butterflies and um, uh, die cut butterflies and some punched ones and things and then all I'm going to do is literally kind of place them on what's going to effectively be my cover so I mean obviously I struggle with the matchy matchy thing so I would prefer that they're vaguely you know vaguely similar color tones rather than really you know out there not anything like each other colors um, you know, but I mean, I'm not going to be, not going to be too fussy about it. So just get a few, few different ones. I mean, we might find three is enough, to be honest. It might just be a bit overkill, perhaps with more. Now, again, like I say, I didn't really see how Carol actually attached her butterflies. I'm thinking staple, um, because obviously this is acetate. So sometimes acetate can be tricky to actually glue, um, and staples, obviously, you know, they're going to work wonderfully on the acetate. So I'm just going to ink around my butterflies a little bit. That one and this one. And actually, I might just ink around the back because, of course, this is acetate. They're going to show through on the back. So then they'd just be, you know, bright white. So we'll just, just ink them up on the back as well. And that way, you know, when you kind of can see see them through there, they're not going to be, you know, looking 
really just bright and stark they'll you know they'll have a nicer color to them so like that okay and this one so this one's actually a stamped butterfly which i obviously stamped i actually a long time ago um and i've just obviously cut it out okay right so that's our butterfly so i'm just going to staple them onto the acetate now this i'm going to struggle because of course my stapler is now not reaching oh. okay hopefully i'm not going to staple through yeah okay so that's my first one my next one i mean i have now marked the transparency which is a bit of a shame but you know i'm not going to get too too worried about that And let's have one here. Now this one's going to again be tricky to get to, so I'm just going to try and go in a bit. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't actually through that transparency at all. I was just literally on the butterfly. Okay, so I mean, they're all stapled onto my acetate now, looking super pretty. And then, of course, I'm just going to fill them with, you know, some pages on the inside. So... I've just brought along my food coloured paper, which, how pretty does that look with those butterflies? So again, just going to fold that and cut it down. Like that. And obviously it probably needs trimming now to actually make sure it fits properly in here. Okay, so I'm going to trim that down so it's actually going to fit properly. So I'm going to trim it down across the edge. Like that. And then just trim it down here in the height. Oh my goodness, made a horrible, horrible job of cutting that again. Oh. Okay. I haven't had breakfast yet, so... I know I always say this, but honestly, it makes such a difference once you've eaten. You know, when you haven't eaten, it's, um, well, I find anyway, you know, I sometimes then do struggle to, um, you know, to do things. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is obviously just oops, put these together and then I'll stitch these, I think, on the sewing machine down the centre as like a centre signature. But how gorgeous does that look? I really, really, really love it. I mean, so simple, so cute. Just, oh, love it. And great way to use up some of your butterflies. You know, I don't know about you, but I mean, I've got quite a few butterflies that are fussy cut out ready. So this is a fantastic way to actually, you know, to make use of them. So I'm just going to put this to one side and we will do the other one. Oops, sorry, just... Just, that was looking so awful. So I'm going to put this to one side and then um, we'll take this to the sewing machine. But actually, just before I do, I just suddenly thought, do I want to have some lace or anything down the down the edge? And again, being, being acetate, it might just be easiest to just stitch it. Stitch it on there. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Just adding, you know, an extra little something. So just going to cut that down now just hoping my sewing machine is going to stitch through this because it might not want to okay so i'm going to just put those together ready on the floor behind me ready to go to the sewing machine let's do the next one so for the next one, let's do it a different colour. So I'm just going to go under my desk to get some more paper. Okay, so I've brought along some pink and some blue. This one, unfortunately, has got this big splosh of green, which that's, you know, pretty annoying, but can't be helped. It was obviously, you know, when I was, when I was colouring it, I was obviously super messy, which let's face it, that's just not really a surprise. So I'm going to try and get rid of as much of that as I can. Obviously, it's going to be on the inside anyway. And actually, I have managed to get rid of it, so it's fine. Not going to be a problem at all. And we just trim that down 
and cut that down on the edges as well. Like that. Okay, and then slot my papers inside one another. I don't think put it that way round. Okay, so that just then goes in there like that. And then again for the butterflies. So, I mean, it's so fun as well because, you know, you can just then really marry up, you know, some pretty looking butterflies, you know, that are going to complement your papers the best. Oh, this is such a shame because look, that would look so pretty, but obviously I'm going to struggle to staple that on. Hmm, okay, all right. And I put the other one back, rejected the other one actually, because it had something on the other side, which of course being transparency, you're going to see the other side. So I thought, well, you know, might not be the best one to use. Okay. And it's annoying because actually most of these, <laughs> most of these have got something on the other side, um, which, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. That's not too bad. So let me just check see if I've got any others that might be better still. I mean, I love something that's quick and easy, you know, as you know. And so for me, these are just perfect because they're so quick and easy and they turn out really, really, really pretty. And, you know, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? You know, quick, easy and pretty when it's done. I mean, what more could you want? Right, okay, I'm going to go for the ones that I had, I think, so, yeah. Because most of these, like I say, have got, you know, things on the back, which, you know, that's just going to look rubbish then. So, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of limited in the ones that I can choose from just due to that. So let's ink these up. here yeah I mean I loved her idea of having it as a center signature oh I best just do the backs actually so as when we see through they look attractive um yeah I loved her idea of having it as the center of the signature I mean that was just ingenious because of course that just looked so different and so lovely um you know and of course you can write on acetate you know if you just use um you know permanent marker a CD writer or a, you know, Sharpie or something, then of course you can write on the acetate. So, you know, just because it's a shiny surface, it doesn't kind of render it useless. You can still absolutely write on there, you know. So it's, um yeah, was just a really genius idea, I thought. Right, I think I'll have them like that. Now, am I going to be able to staple them in without moving them? I'm not sure. Oh gosh. Okay, that one. And then this one here. I mean, obviously I'm using my Tim Holtz tiny stapler, you know, to attach these, which of course does not have a very big reach, if you see what I mean. But I mean, if I was using a normal, you know, normal long stapler, I would have a lot more, a lot more wiggle room to be able to get my stapler in. Well, plus you can open them out and do that weird thing you know, to staple them. Okay. But I mean, this works fine. So, you know, it's all fine. Okay. I'm just going to tidy this edge up here because, um, you know, I don't really like that page poking out like that. Okay. And again, let's have some lace because, you know, why wouldn't we? Lace is always a good addition. Okay, uh, right, what lace? Just having a quick look, see if I've got any in my little, um, you know, thingy that I keep beside my desk, my little bag that I keep beside my desk. I have got this lace actually, which I mean I know it's a kind of peach colour, but I thought it looked, looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Because it's got a sort of delicate 
delicate finish. So I'm just going to cut that down again, you know, like, like so. Okay, shall we do a couple more before we take them to the sewing machine? Because they're really fun, aren't they? So I'll just put that down and then, right, let's do a couple more. So I've got another sheet of the, you know, transparency film here. Again, just, you know, folding that in and squish that down. Actually, to be fair, I think this is actual acetate, um, but it's quite finished acetate. It's not like the really thick stuff. So again, just cut that in half. Get my blue paper this time. around I think and again just want to trim that down across or along the edge so as it doesn't overhang the acetate I might not have trimmed out enough yet but just about just about can get away with that and then I will just just trim it here as well Okay, let's get rid of these off the desk. Oops, it probably could do with coming down slightly more again in, um, you know, in height, those inner pages. Now I did just see, yeah, look at that beautiful butterfly on there. How pretty is that? I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, right. I do love it. Oh, that is quite nice. I was going to say I'm going to struggle now with finding another butterfly to put with it, but that one's pretty good. It is a bit bigger than I would have liked. I would have preferred it smaller. I'm just going to see whether I've got some more similar but smaller. That's also quite nice. Mm. Yeah, they're all quite big, the ones that I'm picking up. Probably the smaller ones have all sunk to the bottom. So I probably need to just delve deeper. That's not too bad. Um, that one's quite nice on there actually too. And I've got a sparkly one. This was from some old scrapbook paper from, oh, yonks ago. But maybe I could use that one on there be honest because I've had it in my stash for such a long time you know it's one of those pieces that I probably have you know started out by hoarding it and actually now it's just turned into a piece that will never just get used up so yeah perhaps I'll use that again just ink the back you know just so it looks a bit more attractive and not just a stark white piece of paper really but I mean of course you wouldn't have to do that just ink these up Okay. Okie dokie, nearly done. Okay. I mean, I'm thinking you could kind of make other things with these, you know, like kind of, you know, you could use flowers and all sorts of things. I mean, the bonus with the butterflies really is because you know they're like that then like flapping wings it's like they're 3d where of course a flower mm, you know I mean you could kind of just semi-attach it but it's not going to have quite the same effect as of course a butterfly does so um but you know you definitely could use other things you know not just be limited to butterflies I just think the results of kind of the you know the effect it's going to work best with butterflies because, of course, they are like a moving creature, aren't they? So that's what it's kind of giving, well, the illusion of 
really is a bit of movement on there which you know of course obviously if you used for instance you know flowers it's not going to be quite the same um but you know i'm sure it could look pretty as well <gasps> oh i love that one i think that's my favorite one actually now yeah really 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 love it it's really super pretty Right, I'm just going to have a look and see what lace I've got. I'm wondering whether I could be a bit adventurous and go for something a bit more coloured because obviously I've got the blue. Um, mm, just quickly rummaging through my lace stash behind me. Uh, or, or actually I've got this white, which I'm just thinking, sorry, I've just knocked the, knocked the uh, table. Oh, how gorgeous does that white look along there? I love that white on there. Right, let's just let's just have the white on there. That's so pretty. Right, I'm going to put that down beside me, ready to go. So we've got one more left to do. Okay, let's put that lace away. Uh, right, now I haven't got any paper to use here, so just going to have to have a rummage again for maybe some coffee dyed paper you know so we've got some plain coffee dyed paper or I mean you could always use your patterned papers if they have a plain back uh, right I will be back Hold okay on. I opted to go for the coffee dyed paper I mean to be honest you can't really beat coffee dyed paper can you it's it's pretty scrumptious always so you know it's a good option okay so, and again, just going to tidy that up along the edge. Well, not tidy it up, but, you know, trim it down so that it's fitting better into the cover. And, okay, just need to trim that cover down slightly. probably could go again so let's just do it slightly more okay right Oops. okay and let's just select a couple of butterflies for this one well, maybe this one on here. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so is that. Um, which other one? Maybe that, actually. Let me just ink this one up and see when it's inked up if it would go dark enough to kind of contrast, well, not contrast, but, you know, blend, blend nicely with those other two. Because at the moment, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit pale. Maybe not quite matching enough. Oh, that one doesn't need inking. It's already been inked. Not sure about this one because um, these are very dark. Unless it goes... Oh, that's better, isn't it? If I kind of do it more like that. Okay, right. Let's just staple these on. Okay, and this one here, and then this one here. Okay, super, super pretty. Um, and we just want to put some lace, of course, down the edge of here as well. So let me just again let's see what lace I've got that go nicely with this one. Uh, thinking kind of ivory, but I might change my mind. Hold on, because I was thinking ivory. I think last time wasn't I, and then went for that white. But oh yeah, let's just have some pretty, pretty ivory on here. So I'm just going to cut that down. Right, I'm going to take these across to the sewing machine, and um, you know, stitch them together, and then we'll come back and we'll probably add a couple more little bits and pieces to these. Okay, so I'm back. I've had breakfast and I've done my um, bits of sewing. 
So this is how they look now. Um, I've got to confess, I wasn't so very happy with this one uh, because you can see the stitching like really, you know, a lot down this front piece. So it's not turned out to be my favourite or anything, but yeah, I mean, it looks okay. Uh, but, you know, we might try and cover that up a little bit in a minute. This one I love. I just obviously stitched the white lace down and then stitched down the spine. So they're all just, you know, little little booklets now. And this one here, again, just kind of like that. So then, oh, sorry, this one as well. Um, you know, I love how this looks. Now, when I came back to the desk, I thought, well, what should we do with them to, you know, decorate them further? Because, of course, you know, my favourite thing is decorating. And I've got these little wine labels. Now, these are, you know, vintage. I mean, when I say vintage, this one's like 1989. I got these from like a big bundle of ephemera type stuff in a car boot sale. Um, but I had been kind of hoarding this one because I love it. It's so pretty. Um, but I just quickly slid it under here to see how it looked. Let me just show you. <gasps> Doesn't that just look absolutely gorgeous? I just love it. So definitely for me, I'm going to glue this one into here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trim it down slightly on the edges because, um, you know, it's... I mean, it fits, but it is the full width, if you see what I mean. So just to give myself a little bit more rim, so it's not getting, um, you know, when they're in too close to the spine. And then when you close it, they get very damaged, don't they? So, you know, hopefully I've just now got that fraction more rim to be able to glue that down where it's not going to be interfering with the spine at all. So I'm just going to glue that with the wet glue straight on to the front, you know, the first page. Oh, I just loved how that looked. And I thought, oh, I've, you know, because I've had this for about three years or something. And yeah, I've just been hoarding it. I mean, the irony, you can probably even still get this particular label on a bottle of wine, you know. <laughs> so probably no need to have hoarded it at all, but it's really super pretty label. Okay, and then I'm just going to spread it with my glue spreader just to smooth out any lumps and bumps a bit more. Okay. Just get any excess glue that might have come out. How gorgeous does that look? I really, 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 really love that, I must say. So obviously what's going to happen now is I'm going to obviously hoard this because I'm not going to now be able to bring myself to use it because of course I can't get another one of those those labels. So yeah, this will go in my, my hoarding stash, no doubt. But oh, I just love it so much. Right, so I'll put that to one side. Let's do the next one. So the next one, obviously I've got this other label. This hasn't got a date, but I mean, it's you know probably similar. Um, obviously, you know, this is not going to fit here without putting it sideways on, which then, you know, would look ridiculous. So, But I'm thinking that this church, I mean, that does look pretty on there, doesn't it? So I'm just wondering if we could just kind of cut the, or not cut, but probably tear the church out. So let's just go for that. Like that, okay. I mean, you know, obviously just because the green against that green food coloured paper, I just thought it looked really, you know, really pretty, doesn't it? So again, just going to kind of have that there. I might just quickly ink it up a little bit around the edges. I mean, it doesn't particularly need it, to be honest. Like that. Okay. And then we can just have that sort of glued in there. And then we might want to have something else on there as well, but... I just topped my glue up this morning, so it's kind of really coming out like, oh my goodness, nearly had an upside down piece there. Lucky I spotted it. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, the glue's really, really oozing out like with no problems today. Okay. Let's move that up slightly. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Could have like a word or something on there as well, maybe. I mean, that's pretty huge, but oh, that's quite nice. What do you think? 
and I'm choosing like under the um, acetate because of course you know it's just going to be easier to stick it down I'm going to just cut this other border off to make this a bit smaller and see whether it would be better on there because it was quite large for the piece Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just going to glue that down. Again, I mean, I'm just using the wet glue. This is um, one of my book plate printables. And this has been printed on quite thick card. Um, well, not card, but, you know, paper. It's, I think it's like 200 or could even be 250 GSM. So, I mean, it's quite sort of thick, really. Um, yeah. So just check that that's, oops, might need to move it down slightly, otherwise that butterfly's just over that M, the first M on there. That's better. So, I mean, super pretty, isn't it? So I'll just put that to one side now. Okay, what to do with the blue one and the pink one? Not sure yet. Let's just have a look and see what I've got just, rummage, you know, um, laying about on my desk. See whether I've got anything that might look good um what have we got here got this i mean that's quite pretty isn't it i mean it doesn't really go with this butterfly i've got to be honest but you know i'm trying to be a bit more adventurous and um trying to be a bit more adventurous and mix things up a little bit more rather than being oh it's you know it's not matching i can't have that so i'm just you know yeah trying to Trying to push myself a bit more out of my out of my comfort zone because I mean sometimes it's just easy to get um, you know just stuck in what we always do, isn't it? I mean, I'm just trying this birdhouse. I'm not saying that looks great, but you know, just thought we'd just try it and see how that looks. I mean, it's kind of cute to be honest. It's not going to look good on there, no. Right, let's put that back. Probably need to actually bring my ephemera box up here. So let's just have a look. Uh, shout if you spot anything <laughs> I mean again this is where sometimes you just you know it would be so handy if I was just live and could hear you I'm going to just pull out anything at all that I think oh that you know that's got a possibility or you know that maybe would go um I'm not saying that it definitely would but just anything that I kind of you know even vaguely think might have a chance of going I'm just pulling it out so Okay. Mm. Oh, I just don't know. Right, well, I've pulled out a few things. So, yeah, let's have a look at the things that we've pulled out so far and see if we've got any winners amongst those. That's going to just, you know, just finish it off. Okay, let me just pop that to the side. Oops, it's just balanced now. Let's hope it stays there. Right, let's move this one out of the way first. So I've got this one. Now oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that. Let me just try this one. Oh, she's actually really pretty on there. Yeah, I really like her, I think. So, um, oh, I did also just pull out one of my windows just in case a window might look good. Oh, that is quite pretty too. Oh, now I'm a bit torn. Right, do we like the window or do we like this? Which do we prefer? Uh... Oh, I'm going to go for this um, because I might try and add some bling on here and I thought actually the, you know, the um, bling might not really go that brilliantly with the window. So yeah, let's go for this. I'm just going to ink this up slightly. Yeah, that's going to look pretty. So, just drop this down. Oh. Just hold that open with the scissors there.
Yeah, so I hope everyone's having a good day. The sun is shining here. It's looking glorious. I have to say it was quite chilly when I dropped my daughter to school, but I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping it's going to be cheered up a bit later. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. We've been having a run of really nice weather. And I always say this, I do film ahead. So, I mean, if we've actually been having a run of dreadful weather over the last week or so, it's because I filmed this ahead. It's not that I'm, you know, living somewhere completely, you know, off off the uh, radar that's having completely different weather to everybody else. But yeah, we have been having a run of very nice weather. Okay. For the last few days, you know, I'm not saying it's going to necessarily last much longer. Right, just going to cut out one of these stamped images. Again, you know, just playing around here. This might look okay, it might look terrible. I might not be able to really get it to stick very well. Um, but, you know, we'll give it a try. Right, what do we think? Possibly prefer it without it. I've got to be truthful. Um, but... Let's just ink. I mean, obviously, it's on that sort of craft coloured card. So, I mean, you know, the ink's not particularly showing a great deal. But I guess it's, you know, it's showing a bit. Oh, I quite like it up the top, actually. Right, let's just try. And I'm just going to try by gluing it with the hot glue. So just fingers crossed really that this is going to stick. Okay. So far so good, but I mean of course it's only just gone on there. It's when it falls off in like 10 minutes time that's when we'll really know. Okay, and I've just got some bling which Uh, oh, perhaps I'll have the bling on the butterfly, actually. You know, I'd like to have a bit of bling on here somewhere because, oh my goodness, you know, we'll have done a whole whole series of pieces with no bling, which that's just terrible, isn't it? Right, let me just try this because I wonder whether I need a couple of couple of bits of bling on them. Oops. Oh gosh, it's sometimes really fiddly, isn't it? Right. Okay. I'm going to try and hot glue this down onto this butterfly. Okay. So that looks super pretty. And then, I mean, this might be bling overload, to be honest, with all the butterflies having bling. But actually, it does look quite nice, doesn't it? Oh, and so what? What's, you know, what's a bit of bling overload from time to time? Okay. And then this little bit here. Okay, last piece of bling here going on. My goodness there we go right oh now I've got hot glue threads all over here which actually don't really show that much because they're on the acetate so I can't really even see until I move it and it suddenly you know the light catches oh there's a bit of blue right that's that one I mean I have to say not my favorite because I'm just not really that pleased with how that lace looks but you know it's fine it's yeah it's fine Okay, last one. So again, when I was going through that ephemera box, I just pulled out a couple of pieces that I thought, you know, would maybe be possibilities. Um, yep, now I'm thinking maybe not. But Oh, what a shame. That's her. 
Now you see she wouldn't be too bad except it's very hard to place her where that butterfly is not completely covering her face. Um, let me just try this one again. I'm not sure about that. Do you know what? I think what I might do is um, try something else. So, oh, that isn't that annoying. I've just got this bit of napkin here, which I thought had a complete bird on it, but it hasn't. Okay, so, yep, not that. Got some Edith Holden flowers. Let's just try tearing this out. goodness this is just you know when the book page is kind of too big to hold you know you can't really get in to tear it it's doing that so I'm just going to do it you know cut it down so it's a bit easier to to actually reach to be able to tear so just tear around here just looks rubbish doesn't it absolutely rubbish right okay so not not those either uh right might have to bring my ephemera box back in again so let's put all these bits back in because yeah none of those i mean we might just leave this one to be fair you know perhaps this one's just calling out to be just left completely but you know i do like to um <laughs> to really decorate things oh that's quite pretty yeah I quite like that so if I can't find anything else then I think we might just go for that and just double check uh, yeah I think that's going to be the one there's always something, isn't there? There's always something that you can kind of find that's going to fit and look good. It's just a case of, you know, sort of, well, hunting it down and finding finding the right thing. Okay. Oh, that looks quite cute as well, actually. Right, let me just move this back out of the way. So, let me just ink this one up first. Okay. Now let's just ink this and see what this looks like, you know, layered on top of there because I thought that looked really good just now. I do really like that. The only thing is we can just see that little stem coming out. I mean, it doesn't really worry me to be honest and we could always cover it up with a word or something like that. So let's go for that. Okay. Okay. That one down. I just now take my wipe and just get any excess glue. I mean, I could have stitched this on the sewing machine to be fair. I didn't really think of that when I glued it down. I could still take it there now, but I'm just being lazy and can't be bothered really. So yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it like this, I think. Um just need something to cover up that that bit at the bottom. So just have a look and see if I've got either a word or, you know, a stamped piece or something. I don't want it just in the middle, though, if that makes sense. You know, it would be better if it could come in from the side, but just happen to cover that middle piece. Um, right, just rummaging through, you see, and I've got any flowers. Got this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so just going to actually I'm just going to stick this down first I think like that. 
things. Okay, and then the flower. Oops, that glue that I've now dabbed on there. Quite possibly. Okay, and then, I mean, that's the worst thing about acetate is, you know, the likelihood of getting kind of glue and things on there that you don't spot. But that said, it should come off reasonably easily. Um, but sometimes it doesn't, and then it creates like a sort of defect in your acetate. So, um, yeah, it's just something to be a little bit kind of wary of or aware, aware of. Okay. Oops, I've just spotted I've got here just... Just a little bow. Shall we put that on there as well? Or do we want the bow on something else? Maybe on this one. Oh, that's pretty on there. Yeah. I mean, that bow was just, again, just lingering around on my desk. So why not just pull it in and, and use it? Okay, let's have a look at the four that we did. Um, they're really pretty, aren't they? I mean, just a gorgeous thing to just insert into your journal. Okay, so these are the four that we did. Aren't they just gorgeous? Absolutely so pretty. I mean, I have to say, still this one I think is my favourite just because I love, love, love that um, wine label, to be honest. But I do, you know, I do quite like them all. And actually now I've added the bow on here. Yeah, I quite like that one too. So... Yeah, I hope that you like them. Have fun if you decide to make some. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.